35 years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. gentlemen those pimples have lasted for weeks and weeks i know i'm using new pimple stain actually the reason he's still got his pimple guard up there which looks like he's got just got a bad uh, corona mask uh <laughs> i was in a fiery jeep accident with leaf Garrett. is because we do two of these at a time and so they're you know a week later he's going to look like he's still got the zits but by now yeah. hopefully they've dried up yeah have some of them dried up already? Oh yeah, they're dry. They, they, the, the juices have turned into scabs. So uh, it's uh, well, you know, you you kind of have a blurry picture. I mean, it's not it's not the cleanest of pictures. Uh, so if you took them off, people took that off. People probably wouldn't get you know vomitatious. Oh, I it. put Vaseline on the lens so I look like Gloria Henry. So. Really? <laughs> I, I have a thing that I can use on. Uh, I, I found that's really good. The reason I like Zoom is I have a thing about make my face look better or something. It's called something <laughs> like that. And you just click on yeah. that. You're and your face your better teeth, your face looks better. Yeah, much better. Oh, it's got that, like, God, oh, it's a rosy, yeah, my, uh, rosy red, terrible face of mine. It's, so you know, it's not that you, it, it doesn't look like, remember in the old days, remember when Lucy did her last TV show? Oh, God, And they yeah. used to have this traveling mat across her face that blurred it out. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. She'd be smoking through her throat. Oh, Mr. Mooney. I want a job. Yeah, she's a corpse already. Take her off the air. Even Desi Arnaz quit in 1960. Desi Arnaz was the brightest guy in show business. Oh, he was he really was. He, he was the genius behind I Love Lucy. Uh, he was the genius. He invented everything that people started doing when they recorded shows for uh, TV about having a live studio audience. Uh, and f three film cameras yeah, yeah. and sure. all of that and he literally invented that and yeah. and was he was a genius that way and people forget you know they go oh you know he's just desi okay uh, he beat lucy did he beat lucy <laughs> i don't know was, was he considered I think they drank together and then you know you call her a dirty horse i would her. imagine <laughs> she was a, a piece of shit to live with to be honest with you they both drank. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, don't come down to the club. Uh, um, hey, you took my eye out. Uh, hey, Fred, you want to get a shot in? That'd be a swell idea, Rick. Let me kick her in the face. <laughs> He's doing the entire I Love Lucy show. <laughs> the wife beating episode, the one they don't show that much. Anymore. Yeah. yeah. But, but if you watch I Love Lucy, among like it being. It, Still, I still like it. I watch it early in the morning. They show it. Yeah, and but, they spared no expense on the sets. The sets were so real looking. If they, they had a scene like on the roof of the building, it looked like they were on the roof of a New York City building. Yeah. That, it, but building but he he, he was in a, he was the genius of that show. He was yeah, the he, one who came up with the format. He approved the scripts. I mean, he was uh, the man. Now, what is his other great contribution to American culture? And I bet this one I'll, I'll tell you, and you'll go, oh yeah. Yeah, but but what do you think was his his contribution? Yeah, Star Trek. You, oh, Bing Bing Bing, boy, you got know, it I right on the head. Cool, but I am not fooled, Captain. I am very smart when it comes to these subjects. <laughs> You're absolutely right. He he's oh, the guy that that, put, that approved and did Star Trek. Right, it's a Desilu production. Mm -hmm. not, they, they'd be rejected everywhere else. And I and think I think the, I think it was a Desi Lou production until maybe the third season it became a Paramount because they sold Desi Lou to Paramount. Yeah. That's how Paramount got it. Got it. Sure. Uh, and, and I knew that. No, they were very open to different ideas, and that one really worked. So yeah. And the Desi Lou lot. What did they? Was that the old uh, RKO? I guess it was. Yeah, they bought the RKO studios and they turned it. Into yeah, whole. and I think it was right next door to Paramount. So uh, they just combined okay, the two studios, and off you go. Hey, Spock, go next door. It seems my employment has moved down the block, Captain. 
It's Let's go we'll get our checks. When you, when you do that, your eyebrows do do a spock. It's interesting. Oh, it almost looks like my ears are pointed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Gee, the boy with the rubber eyebrows. Boop, 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 I think boop. what they did, I think if I if I remember correctly, what they did is they shaved part of his eyebrow yep. off, and yep. then they extended it. Did the the extension, the makeup extension? Yeah. On it. Yep. I remember he was on Art Linkletter once. There were one of those shows that explained it. And I go, "Whoa, it's Leonard Nimoy with round ears. This doesn't look right." You know what always bothered me? Okay, is I love the old Groucho in the movies. Where yeah. he painted on the mustache. Sure, yeah. And I mean, there was no pretense that that was a real mustache. Sure. It was just a boom. Oh, you right? can see the light reflecting off it. It was great. When he finally started to leave the Marx Brothers and do regular movies, he wore yeah. a regular mustache. He yeah. grew himself a mustache. And there's something wrong about that. Well, yeah. I'm getting old in house, so I might as well look a little the same. It's a different. It's a different Groucho. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and and the the brothers many times on Broadway would play each other. Yeah, that's true. Because that's they true. look so much alike. And an example of that is in um, I forget which picture it is. Is it? Uh, it's either Night at the Opera or uh, uh, Duck Soup, where the mirror thing. Where? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's two Harpos. Yeah, the two Harpos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not, well, actually, the two it's Groucho, Groucho and Harpo. The yes. two Grouchos. Is yeah. it two Grouchos? Yeah. No. No. Yes. Yeah, Groucho looks Groucho comes Groucho around and looks at the mirror at the yeah. at the hallway <laughs> essentially, and and Harpo is playing his mirror, yeah. and he's got the mustache on too, and it looks just like Groucho. Oh yeah, they all. If you saw one that fixes up without makeup, it's like the same face like four times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they look like nice Jewish boys. And we had the, the what the Five Marks Brothers. That's his gummo, but uh, gummo. I didn't want to do this. I meant to be in the gummo business. Leave me alone. Actually, gummo became an agent. Oh, he became an agent? Uh, yeah. Right. And, and later, so did Zeppo. Zeppo, yeah, let, Zeppo married a lady named Barbara, who later dumped him. Barbara Marks. A friend named Frank Sinatra. So That's yeah. right. That's right. Hey, dump that guy. He don't even like blow a horn or nothing. Come with me, baby. Yeah, but, uh, oh, she was uh, she was a piece of work. <laughs> I mean, she. I, I in books that I've read, she almost didn't allow the uh, the uh, kids to come to the funeral. Oh, it can oh, people. oh, she. You know, he. She had him out on the roads. Frank. We're talking about Frank Sinatra, folks, who who married Barbara Marx, who was Zeppo Marx's wife at one time. Yeah. And um, and a lot of people to this day still call her Barbara Marx, not Barbara Sinatra. Yeah, um, and and she became very controlling, and she, she wanted him to make as much money as he could possibly make, so she could inherit it. Yeah. So she would keep him on the road as many days a year oh, as was humanly possible, and had him performing on stage almost up to the end. And I saw one of those performances in the, the uh, uh, what's it big, the big theater, the Circle Star Theater. I'll start the other. Yeah, I don't know if it's still there, but uh, it's in Burlingame. And I went to see Frank, and it was too late. You know, he was uh -huh. now just powder up there on stage. Oh, God. You know, uh -huh. Every now and then he'd hit one note that was right, right. and the uh -huh. light would hit him just right, and you saw Sinatra. Yeah. yeah and then it was back to bumbling yeah. around. Frank Jr. was the band leader. <laughs> I keep telling That's, this story because it's still burned in my mind. He does uh, one, you know, one for my baby and one more for the road, and he's got a cigarette, and he puts it out on stage, throws it down on stage, and then you know, stamps it out with his foot. But he misses it. And the stage at the, cir at the Circle Star was a carpet. Uh-oh. <laughs> and all of a sudden he goes into his next song, and smoke is coming up from the stage. And Frank, and Frank Jr. yells over, Dad, the stage is on fire. <laughs> and Frank looks down and sees this smoldering flame kind of thing, so he then puts his foot on it and really puts it out. But I mean, I want a contract on that flame, baby. Where am I? And then he's, he, he's, he's singing, okay, uh, as Sinatra was prone to do. Yeah, uh, and but... and uh, 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 he's always looking at me. And I'm like in the third row, and he's looking at me. Uh, Dre this comedy comedian Dreesen, um, Tom Dreesen, Tom Dreesen yeah. was a guy who 
got me the third row seats because he was opening for Sinatra and he wanted me to come see Sinatra. And he said, I want you to meet Sinatra. But that night, Jilly had died. Uh. And he said he wasn't seeing anybody. So I never got to meet Frank. But anyway, uh, uh, he, uh, he keeps looking at me while he's singing. I'm going, what's wrong with me? And then all of a sudden I realize he's <laughs> reading a teleprompter. Oh, no. And I look at, there's a teleprompter over on each corner of this circle stage, right? Yeah. Letters. And I look at some of the other teleprompters, and he goes, She gets too hungry for dinner at eight, Jack. <laughs> and on the teleprompter, it said Jack. Oh, my God. He, he didn't know where to put his jacks. He look didn't out. know where to put his jacks anymore. And she was sending him out on the road because she wanted the money. Oh, what a coot. Oh, my God. And yeah, oh. she she was uh, she was the biggest one of the biggest gold diggers of all time. Holy crap, man. I hate you, Barbara. I'm glad you're okay. But at, at that point, Frank was willing to take anybody. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, a Ava had uh, Alzheimer's, so, you know, she, uh, Barbara was available. She was yeah. the only cognizant <laughs> woman he knew. Hey, get me one of them groupies from ACDC, baby. I hear they put out doobie-doo. That's why the broad is a wall. Where am I? What's the most horrible moment you know of Frank Sinatra? Or, uh, I, I music never met the guy, but uh, I've seen a picture of him. Uh, there was something called the Wrong Door Raid in the 50s where Frank thought Marilyn Monroe was having an affair with Oh, somebody. yes. So he got some guys to kick the door down, and there's a picture of him that he looks like he's about to beat the living crap out of the photographer. He looks so pissed off, and I wish there was a whole movie of it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. But like that, that, no, what I'm saying is the, the worst moment musically that I know of was the, the album where he tried to do things like Neil Diamond. Oh, Lord. You know, Sweet Caroline. Ah, Sweet Caroline. Da, da, da. Oh, no, no, no. Well, uh, what did, oh, he did something by the Beatles. I saw a tape and he introduced it. There's a song by John Lennon and Paul McCarthy, and it's by George Harrison, of course. And uh, he does the Jack, you stick around, Jack, and you will know. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, God, don't do it. Let's uh, do the number nine next, number nine. Oh, oh, oh he did. Oh, he the one, the really bad one. I, I would love to play it, only I can't play music because I don't pay royalties. No, but yeah, just good. go listen to Frank Sinatra doing Light My Fire. Get out. He didn't light my fire. Yes. Oh my God. And at the very oh end, he, he goes, light my fire, light my fire, light my no, fire, light my fire. Oh, he's doing the Jose Felix. Light my fire, light my fire. Light my fire. Then he goes, hey, you want me to show it to you, baby? Come on, I'll show it to you. Ooby doo, Ray, play that organ. Ooby doo, be doo. <laughs> when the music's over, turn out those lights. We want the world and we want it right this second, baby. He, he, he only had one number one hit in his entire oh. career. Oh, you froze on me there for a uh, second. He has only one one uh, uh, hit, okay? Uh -huh. One number one hit in right? his entire life. Oh, Strangers in the Night. Nope. That wasn't it? No. Because uh, uh, that was big on the chart. I remember being like 10 years old and hearing it on the radio all the time. Strangers in the Night. Uh, let me see. Then it would have to be because uh, you're which, talking about number one, and you're competing with rock and roll in that. Yeah, at, at oh, that okay. time. So the the, yeah. the Papadus Pipias. Uh, witchcraft. I take a guess. I don't know. Something stupid. Oh, and Nancy. Sure. Yeah. I known. Hit number one. That, that wasn't a bad. That was a cute song. It was a, a cute little... song, but come yeah. on. It wasn't the it wasn't day tripper, but you know. You know, on. I mean, there are other songs which I would say I would like to see be number one. Learning the blues is a great song, uh -huh. you know. The, and they were released as singles, and they did chart, uh -huh. but yeah. they went to like number two, and yeah. that was it. He never got a number one except for something stupid. Hey, 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 hey uh, Frank wants you to have this. Uh, make sure him and the daughter go number one, okay? Otherwise, you like the way your knees bend, don't they? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he had gangster friends. <laughs> he was covered. Frank was covered. You, you know, know you know why he why he kept his gangster friends? Because they were with him when his career was. That's nowhere. correct. They, they booked. You can play the, they play the TikTok room if you can't get no work. They play kept rent. over that two year period where he had no career. Yep, that's right. They yeah, kept right. him alive. 
That's right. Literally. So why shouldn't he appreciate them and be good You're to them? friends. Friends are your friends. You know, you don't ask. I didn't ask them how, who they murdered today. I don't shake your guy's hand and ask him what he does. I hang out with my buddies. They supported me, babe. I'm he like a, to hang out with gangsters because he didn't know anybody anything. So. I, I've known Hell's Angels, and people say, how can you be friends with that guy? And I go, he doesn't kill anybody I know. You, <laughs> I know, you know yeah. I mean... Uh, to me and my wife, uh, he's a perfect gentleman. So why yeah. you know, why can't I respond to that? Hey, yeah. kill some slow at Altamont. Who cares? Who Long cares? Yes, yeah. yeah. that was Jagger's fault. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> no big fault. I hate you, big. I hate you. We've run out of time again. Again, yeah, these are fun. I have fun with They're you. Fun. I have a lot of fun with you. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, Stephen thank Pearl, you, ladies and gentlemen. Go off next week. The next, like but next time, time he's on the show, that will not be on, I'm sure. That's right. No, we're but we may have some very definitive scabs. <laughs> scabs are okay. You know, if you connect them, they form a crank shaft. I just want you to know this. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Pearl. Thank you! Cleveland! Five years and still talking. This is GabNet. The Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that was Stephen Pearl. We love Stephen. Oh, wait a minute. Let me turn on the lights. Boom. There I go. Now I look beautiful. Don't I? Oh, except for this. Wait a minute. Let me show you. See that? See that? Yeah. You know what that is? My wife beats me. Okay? She beats me. Beats me to the bathroom. Oh. I went and got some blood drawn yesterday. and Look at that. Look at that. Now, she, I, they always told me, put your finger on here, and I ch did it yesterday, but then she put a bandage on it, and I didn't have time to get back to it and hold it down. You say, hold it for about two minutes, and you'll be okay, all right? Anyway, uh, let me see here. Um, i got a couple things on. You know what I haven't done in a while? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Where is the coronavirus uh, 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 map? Uh, we like to, we, every now and then we like to go to the coronavirus map. Uh, we didn't, haven't done it in the last little while because, well, things have been better here, at least with us uh, in uh, New York City. Oh, I didn't even put on my shirt here. Oh, boy. I'm a mess today. I'm, I, I took uh, my, uh, my uh, uh, neuropathy pill last night, and everything I do is wrong. I can't, you know, I, I've got to stop taking that pill. It makes me look like Trump walking down a ramp. Uh, let me see here. Where are we? Let me let me uh, open this up so that we have the full page, and we will go and take a look at the screen. Okay, which is our. Um, why is that there? That should. Oh, that shouldn't be there. But wait a minute. Hold on a second. Display window. What? This doesn't make. Oh, I. I I see what it is. Oh, I see. I can't do that. Okay, let me stop my uh, my um, uh, thing for. Uh, well, now that that uh, that doesn't do it. Let me see here. Let me see here. Let me go back to screen. Wow, I can't. Uh, I can't do it. Well, all right. I can't show you the map. You know why? Because I have a a, a screen I use for. Um, a zoom and somehow when I go to my screens it uh, puts that one on there as well and uh, so I can't I can't show you my big screen ladies and gentlemen I don't know why but I can't so uh, to hell with it let me see here I gotta get this back to the way it was oh boy well that's too bad let's see here let me uh, let me go to let me go to zoom here there's some people waiting uh, and I should, uh, where are we? Okay. Um, hold on. Got to do a few things here. I'm just so, I'm, I'm screwing up tonight. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Anyway, let me, uh, let me just, uh, start the, the, okay. Uh, and, uh, a computer audio, do, do, do. all that is going. And I can take this, I can put this over here. And I can do this over here so that I can see the uh, the video. Okay, let me put this on. I like this better because to begin with, I'm wearing a shirt that is uh, not a uh, good shirt, uh, and it's it's kind of a, be nicer this way. Okay, all right. 
See, I should have done this before I, I went on the show. Okay. Uh, okay, let me see here. Let me uh, go to gallery view there, and we make a little transition. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. That's three members of our citizen panel so far. Hello, Vernon Nunn. Can you hear me? Howdy. Okay, and Howdy. hello, Tony. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I didn't get in there. Yeah, I, I didn't get everything done right. Look, look at this shirt. I got that shirt like on TV. You ever see the ad about the guy who's on a date and he's got this collar that's that? That's me. I, I, I'm in my undershirt mode. That's all I want to wear now. Listen, I got to tell you, we are so lazy now with this COVID virus deal that the other day, about five o'clock in the afternoon, I looked at Marjorie and I said, do you realize neither of us have put pants on all day? That's victory. I love it. Yeah. I was my underpants. She was in her underpants. I got my pajamas on all day. Yeah. Are you doing the same? Oh, my God. Are you do, do, uh, by the way, you're going to hear explosions outside because these idiots in this neighborhood are blowing off fireworks oh, until like three o'clock in the morning and i'm going don't you don't you care about the human race anyway yeah, hear that those yeah are like M nuts. are you already those are like m80s for crying out loud yeah i don't like the fireworks. i'd like to go down there and just say do you mind you know i i never liked them as a kid because i was always afraid i would lose a finger you probably would uh, yeah what it, it, just, just put that away Put that away, okay? We'll get the we'll get to your adulpated president in a moment when you want to. Yes, Vernon, how are you? I'm a little tired today. I was uh, habitat working today, so. Oh boy, good for you. Good for you. Doing good for our community. Are you? Were they all wearing masks? Well, there were uh, <clears throat> only two of us working electrical today, and we did things together when we were close up we had our mask on but you know yeah a lot of times he was on one side of the house and i was on the other side of the house. well then you don't need them exactly yeah only when you're within six feet of each other i would make it a little bigger than that but you know that's the that's the general rule and uh they um uh, you know that's a, that's the way to that's the way to do it uh i i can't imagine was it hot out there today wasn't bad actually it wasn't bad. uh here in Louisville, it was, uh, I think the high was like 80 degrees, but yeah. we had a little bit of a breeze, so we'd open all the windows in the house while we were working, and, you know, the breeze blowing through the house kept everything cool, calm, and collected. Yeah, nobody wants to wear masks in hot weather. Hello, Jeff. How are you? I don't even have to do anything. These people just pop into my <laughs> life now, you know? It's, it's, a, it's, it's wonderful. It's terrific. By the way, if you want to know how to join these people... You can go to gabnet.net right in the center of the page. It says just click here to join us on Zoom, and it'll take you, take you right here, and we'll, uh, we'll have you on our screen. And you can go over to my Facebook page, Facebook forward slash A Bennett, and that's uh, you know going to take you over to uh, uh, there's a thing up above that says, hey, click here, and you can go over, and that's another way to do it. And then if you're just watching us on YouTube, uh, right there at the bottom, it says Zoom us during the uh, showtime, and, and there's the Zoom address. How do you think, so far, how does everybody think this Zoom is working, okay? Works I like it. Yeah. 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 I, I, use I, the link. I, I use the link on YouTube to connect in, Alex, mm -hmm. but I've noticed, I don't know if it's the version of Zoom that I have on my wife's tablet, but all I see, I, I don't see the gallery view unless I go over to YouTube mm -hmm. on my phone. And then I can see the other people, but when, what I'm what I'm seeing right now is whoever's talking. Isn't there? It, talking. Isn't there it on your up. on your iPad? Isn't there a gallery feature? Well, it's not an iPad. It's a Samsung uh, Galaxy. Uh, a, uh, what was it called? Tab A. So is and that is that a phone or is? Oh, I know what that is. It's like a. No. It's like a. It's like an iPad. It's like but an it's iPad. A 10, it's a 10 inch. Uh, well, you Android should you should tablet. up at the top see, is it, isn't there something yeah. that says like speaker view? It's a speaker view. Probably if you're not I'm getting. Trying to, I've tried to uh, do that. If my wife has been using the Zoom to to do some virtual meetings mm -hmm. since she's not able to volunteer at a couple of museums that she would yeah. volunteer at, and I don't see anything. I see Where participants. I see more. View. There may be a drop down that gives you gallery view. 
Yeah, I don't have that on on uh, on this one. Mm. Uh, on my computer, it's in the upper right hand corner. Yeah, that's on the probably a. Uh, uh, that's probably on an Apple iPad. So. No, it, it's Hello. pretty much the same everywhere. But I, there may be there may be a way to do it. The only thing mine says is leave in the upper right hand corner. If I click you, on that, then I go bye bye. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Mine says leave in the bottom right hand corner. Maybe you should uh, try going to the bottom and see if that's where your speaker view thing is. Okay. Well, down at the bottom, I've got uh, where bottom. I can stop video, I can mute, and then participants. If I click on participants, it just gives no, me a list no, of all the participants. No, this is all the way over to the other side. But, but if I go if I go to the dots that are down there in the corner, it says, well, let me scroll up. Nope, there's no scroll. It says chat. It says chat, raise hand, show my, oh, there we go. Show my video in gallery view. There you go. Yeah, but it's still doing the same thing. Uh, click when on. You started, when you started talking, <laughs> Alex, then your picture popped up. So. Well, that's speaker view. Hit gallery view again. Oh, that says hide my video in gallery view. No. Oh. That's what it says. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. Did you get that at Home Depot? <laughs> no, I bought it on Amazon, actually. Yeah, yeah. So I'll blame it on Bezos. Yeah, right. Anyway, um, hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Is your, are your lives, <clears throat> lives going decently? How's everything yeah, where you live as well. far as the coronavirus is concerned? Because, quite frankly, we have another mass epidemic going on. Mm-hmm. Well, I heard uh, somebody, a lady who's, who is uh, head of the hospitals at University of Alabama in Birmingham, and she said, we are not in a second wave. We are still in the first wave. Oh, yeah, I agree with her. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, no, absolutely, I agree with her. Uh, that is uh, that is the, uh, absolutely the, the the God's honest truth. But this is not the second wave. This is part of the first wave that we have just screwed up. You know, um, yeah. the first second wave. Hmm? Second wave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, uh, it's it's terrible what's going on. I mean, we have been yeah. in this country warning people. Don't open up without some kind of scientific plan for doing so. And quite frankly, I think every state in the country should take the New York plan because the New York plan has worked. Yes, Charlie. Yeah, Texas today destroyed its previous record for number of new COVID cases. The previous yeah, record that. was 2,500. It was over 4,000 today. Good job, Texas. Good yeah, Texas. We're coming for New York. <laughs> we're number we're one. coming for you. Holy we're Lord. number one. We're <laughs> number one. Do you know how many deaths we had yesterday? The day before yesterday? 400. Huh? 400. Try, tw- try 24. Yeah, we get nothing. Oh, oh I was yeah. talking about the country. 24 yeah. and, no, and today today claim. was today it was 26 but you know that's all within a margin of error uh, and we are the lowest state in the country with the lowest amount of the infection rate in other words you don't want an infection rate of anything over one we're at a point seven seven which is Big. I think yeah. you'll you'll agree Brian is pretty low right very low, very and, low. And uh, we are the lowest in the country, and we've done this because we've scientifically reopened rather than just, oh, the people are bothering us, they got to get make their money, we got to get the economy rolling again, you know, and then you got this asshole Trump trumpeting the whole, oh, there's no coronavirus out there, don't, don't worry about it. But by the way, oh, sign, Pence, sign, sign, sign this piece of paper before you come yeah. into my, uh, my speech <laughs> saying you won't sue me if you get coronavirus. Yes, uh, Phil. <laughs> I heard that uh, the jump in uh, corona cases. Oh, yeah, I know what you're going to say. Go ahead. The jump in corona cases in Texas was due to three prisons. Oh, oh, co- co- according to three prisons. Did you hear that, Charlie? <laughs> No, I haven't heard that. Well, I heard it. Well, he lives in Texas. He would have heard it. He lives in Texas, but Mike Pence uh, uh, said... Uh, well, yeah, you know what Mike Pence also said? The stupidest thing I've heard anybody say. <laughs> the reason but why we have Democrats more... Democrats are trash? The reason, reason <laughs> why we have more cases of coronavirus is because we're testing. 
Well, that's, that's true. right. If we don't test, we wouldn't have those. Yeah, cases. if we won't don't test, we wouldn't have any but cases. They should do. Wow, no, that's the way. I didn't realize the way to solve the coronavirus is not to test. I got the way to solve your your doubt about the coronavirus and testing. Only count deaths. If oh, you don't, you know, if you test more, you're going to find people that have the coronavirus that may be asymptomatic or. Uh, you just, want me to prove you, know, you wrong on that, Phil? Just New York City, that. New York State, rather, has done more testing, am I mm -hmm. right, Brian, than mm -hmm. any state in the union and perhaps any country in the world and over the last, the what, month and a half, three, two months, something like that? We've done th three million tests. And guess what? The more testing we do lately, and we're doing a lot of testing, 50,000 a day, and the number keeps going down. So that whole idea and that whole notion that if you don't test, you won't have high numbers is ridiculous. You just won't have the numbers that are re you won't have the numbers that are realistic if you don't you test. High numbers. Yes, Charlie. But we did have the a problem lot. with not testing is you don't know who has the virus, so you don't know who to quarantine. <laughs> right. So the people with the virus are going out and infecting everybody else. What we if do you test people, yeah. you know they have the virus, you can quarantine them. If you have if you test positive, they then get a list of names of people you've been in touch with, and then they go out. That's what they do in this state. And they get a hold of those people and test them to see if they have it. Uh, contact, contact tracing. tracing. Huh? It's called contact, contact tracing. tracing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, we've, we've scientifically really done this right. But when you say that less testing means uh, less uh, numbers, it's wrong. Because we do the most testing and our numbers are going down. Everybody's numbers are going down. Except the, the rioters. No, wait a minute. What, the, the rioters United aren't wearing masks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bur, bur, Not the United States. What'd you say, Vernon? Not the United States. If you look at the curve for Spain, for Italy, for some of these that had really high early peaks in the spring, their numbers are going down as, a, as we speak. The United States has plateaued, and they are not going down. Yeah. If anything, they are going up as yeah. a country. But basically, it's plateaued, and it is at a higher level than it was before. So, right. uh, uh, and it's not going down. And Phil, your notion that uh, uh, it's just not out there and it's not killing people, it is. And it's getting worse in, all, in states like Texas and Florida. And it's saying that some of those states are misreporting their numbers so they don't look bad. If yeah. Pence told them to. Pence told them to. Yeah. Pence made sure he, he told all the governors to tell everybody that is because of more testing, extreme testing. Yeah. You can't fight the statistics of how many people died and either they hmm. died or they didn't well, die so you look at the, the amount of deaths there deaths are more people it, 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 it was the, 400 it, yesterday across the u.s yeah, well only 24 of those were in new york right because he killed the rest of them in the old age homes yeah <clears> right <throat> right sure uh yes charlie that lady that was fired in florida because she wouldn't lie for the governor she is reporting much higher death rates and everything in Florida. She's still reporting her own statistics. So it's not true you can't hide the deaths. All you have to do is say they died from an ingrown toenail instead of COVID. What, what's, I've, I've uh, been hearing that they have been attributing COVID to every kind of death. If you get hit by a car walking across the street, no, you're being you ridiculous. COVID. That's not true, Phil. $37,000 a COVID death. George Floyd what didn't Who die. Who pays what $7,000? Yeah, George, George Floyd didn't die of COVID, and he had it, right? Yes, he did. And he didn't die of COVID. But he did have COVID, didn't he? And he didn't, but he didn't die of COVID. But he wasn't, not, he, but, he, so he wasn't pronounced COVID dead death. because of he COVID. Had, he had COVID, and he's dead. So Minneapolis he is not in the Minnesota $7, COVID statistics. Uh, Florida is going up, and right, and Tulsa area is going up, and your yep. buddy's having his his grand poop up parade there. So, <laughs> and what he wants to do is move out of that arena and go to a stadium because he wants a million people to see him speak. A million. You know, I hope he gets those million people because 
uh, it's it's really um, uh, the Darwin ef uh, effect here. Uh, a million people. Well, have you let me finish, Phil. There's, this is the Darwin effect, and what's uh -huh. going to happen is he holds a million people in a stadium, and they're all going to be dead, and they won't be able to vote for him. The no Florida will be wiped mail. out. <laughs> they'll they'll just vote by mail. Yeah. Yes, Charlie. Well, by Phil's logic, then the solution to the population problem, the overpopulation problem, is we just quit doing pregnancy tests. If we just quit doing pregnancy tests, then... Nobody will get pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. That's very uh, good. That's very good, Charlie. I like that. Yeah. What? Well, that's what, that way you can hide those that are aborted. Phil, what's with you? Do you always have to play this mantra... Oh, because I think that, uh, you know, your your negative uh, ideas against Trump. Look what he did today. I mean, what I he did he, today. He, what did he do? Today? What did he do today? He took yeah, a poop. He, he took a poop. Uh, yeah. He had uh, 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 some uh, he signed an order uh, for uh, police uh, that they needed to be certified, that there was going to be a registry of uh, police officers that uh, have... Uh, 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 our good friend Brian is nodding his head no. Yeah, but he did not eliminate chokeholds. That was one of the biggest yes, he things. Did. He said choke... No, 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 no. He, he, said, he said it's not legal. Unless the, the policeman thinks... Unless the policeman thinks that he's threatening his the policeman's life, then he can no, use the chokehold. If he's okay. fighting for his life. So it, it's not... If he thinks, if he has to, to preserve his own life. So now you have it, another subjective thing, and unless it's caught on video, they can tell anybody. They could have said that George Floyd, I was fighting for my life. I had to put him in that chokehold, so he died. That's not true. That uh, would have been true if subjective. it hadn't been for it's social subjective. media. He's, he's the, law, the uh, president of law and the order. Power just like they had it before. How many here really are bothered when they hear that term law and order? I'm not. <laughs> of course you're not, Phil, and you didn't have to say that. We could assume that. Yes, Charlie, you you feel you don't like the term. Why don't you like law and order, Charlie? Well, the main reason I don't like it is because when Trump uses it, he means law and order for me. He doesn't mean law and order for him. He thinks he has the right to ignore any law that he wants to ignore. Well, Phil's giving you a look like a uh, 10 pound look, as my father used to call it. Well, that's what he thinks. He's no, just, yeah, just he says that law. that's not what it was. <laughs> that's just, just put that away, Phil. Put that away. He's, uh, it's personally it, Believe me, you don't have to hold up a picture to show your ignorance. All you have we to do is care, open your Bill. mouth, okay? No, we don't, we don't care. Do you understand? We don't care about your picture. Well, <laughs> you know, it, it's kind of like, uh, you know, when uh, some of these guys talk and they imitate other people. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm Mr. Trump. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah. Burning. Yeah. 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 39.95. What, what, the Trump store. What what was and that? That's what, a bargain. Is that a book? Yeah. Is that a book? No, <laughs> it's a photo uh, with. Uh, he says, "Phil Meyer, thank you for your support. Together, we will keep America great. Best wishes." And it's got the Donald Trump signature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And, and where did you get that? Uh, from the uh, Donald Trump uh, store. Oh, and he was there signing them. Uh, Phil uh, I'm Meyer. Sure, his computer was. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Phil! As, 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 as I say, you don't have to show us your ignorance. All you have to do no, is open your said, mouth. You know, just open it, your mouth, and your ignorance comes flowing it, out. It said, "Insert name here." Came back like this. By yeah. the way, I think you can all hear each other pretty well when you're talking and someone else is talking. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if we need to raise our hand necessarily. You can just chime in. You know, okay, if I'll you, chime in. Okay. What about the executive order? Did it say anything about limited immunity, Phil? No, nah, not to my knowledge. Why Why not? I don't know. I think he's going to let... Uh, I, I don't know why. It, uh, talk, you know uh, what our senator from Kentucky said? Oh, he said, uh, and they said he said He said he's not, not going to consider the bill that the House of Representatives has passed because that's nationalizing all policing, and that's bullshit 
Well, that's what they want. I guess he's coming up with nationalized standards because he's the president, and it's a national position. He doesn't set standards. He doesn't set standards well, for did. anything. He, he just doesn't did. set standards. He said he 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 did a he did an executive order, but this right. should not be done at the executive order level. It should be done well, at the law level. There's a lot. Of, well, Congress passed the law. Congress, and the president signs it. Vernon, Congress could still pass a law. Not with Mitch McConnell there. Well, oh. he's already he's already set these standards by making the executive order. So therefore, no. and if executive you executive orders look at are what, suggestions, they do not have the power of law. Well, uh, he's using money to uh, with to create these standards, uh, training standards, and certification. He's saying that departments will receive money if they meet these standards. If they don't. Then they won't get the money. Well, you know what Cory Booker said tonight, right? No, Cory well, Booker says he's 51 years old, and he said his entire life, every time we have an outbreak like a, a violence and things like that in the 60s, and then again when it happened again in the, in the 80s, they have a commission, and the commission makes recommendations, and the recommendations go in the trash can. Well, nothing these, happens. These. No went into an executive order and, and nothing had, will happen he from had it. both uh, 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 uh what's his name van jones he uh even complimented trump and said that he thought that wow. this was the move in the right direction wow and van jones is an obama uh, uh wow. person. yeah I'm, yeah van i'm jones. so impressed i'm so impressed well, hey, nothing would impress you well cuomo, about cuomo trump, you're right cuomo about he, trump you're right Right. Cuomo here in New York uh, signed executive orders regarding the police. And quite frankly, it was far more far reaching than what the president did today. I mean, uh, you know, he's he's having each and every police force, wherever there's a police force, the people in that community have to go in and restructure what they want out of the police and all sit around and be cooperative with each other to figure that out. And to come in with their grievances and what they think is wrong and what would make it right, I mean, uh, uh, it's an and they have until April first to come up with a plan on how to restructure their police departments. And if they don't, they're not going to get state money. Yeah, there was one other thing that Trump did today uh, as part of that. Uh, that all all Trump, Trump was trying to do was imitate Cuomo to no, a lesser what he extent. Did. Was he said that they should send? He didn't say anything. Workers. He read it off a fucking teleprompter. Uh, whatever, he, however he read it, it was pretty damn good. Oh, and, yeah, I heard, and, I heard it. I had to, I, I heard it. I had to turn turn it off, Phil. Oh. Painful to listen to sometimes. No, I couldn't. I couldn't take it for more than about five minutes. I can't stand the sound of his voice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean. Um, uh, let's uh, let, let's for a moment, um, you know, uh, look at this and realize that, you know, we have two converging situations here right now, and the two are not necessarily different from each other. We have the coronavirus, and we have the thing with the d protesting in the streets and so on. And because of the two, they have kind of a convergence because of the possibility of spreading the virus and whatever through protests. Um, uh, here in the state, uh, uh, Cuomo has prevailed upon the demonstrators to all go out and get tested, just to see where they stand after this, that they're doing it not, and he always puts it in the best of terms. He says, you, it, you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the people around you. Uh, and I think that uh, certainly makes a lot of sense. Uh, Cuomo talks like a businessman all the time. Mm -hmm. and he, that, that's what I was hoping for Trump at the beginning, was that he would deal with these issues like that. Well, well I'll tell you what. Take, yeah. Taking all the letters in and getting consensus area by area to see how he should, you know, police and stuff like that is really businesslike. What I think is that's true. Why, that's what, why Trump's not a good businessman, well, because he, he no, doesn't do that, never has. Here's another, here's another part of it. What Cuomo has done, if you listen to him speak, every time... He is thanking the people of New York, saying the numbers are going down. You're saving lives. Thank you, New York. You don't ever hear Trump say, hey, you did this or you did that. The American people have done this or that. And then say, 
thank you so much for doing that. Last thing I heard out of Cuomo's mouth was he was berating the people of we- of Hamptons mm-hmm. and uh, the... Y- yes, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Phil. Absolutely. They were yeah. out there partying very close to each other, just violating all the rules of what we're trying oh, to the, do yeah. here to save I'm lives. I'm saying he's thanking the people. What are you, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, Phil. He, you never listen to his whole speeches every day. We do, and I'll tell you, every day he says the people of New York have been incredible. Yeah, like you listen to Trump's speeches, I listen to Cuomo's. No, I'm saying that he is I, always I can't his whole— stomach him. His, More than a few seconds. Because, and then you, you have no idea what he's saying or how he's saying it. Well, I heard him. You no, know? you didn't. Yeah, he says if you, you people don't lock down uh, you know, and, and uh, you violate this, I'm shutting it all down. What he said was if you, have, if you have a bar and you're letting people get close to each other and you let them in and they're not wearing masks, we're going to pull your liquor license. Did he open the bars yet? Huh? Oh yeah. Are the bars open? Yes, they're open. They're open for uh, being. I think being able to go in 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 what is I think phase two. There there are four phases. Uh, some of the state goes into phase three tomorrow, and phase four is almost California. a complete opening of everything. What? California. I don't think we have bars or uh, uh, some restaurants in some counties. But what's happening is they they're supposed to I think serve booze, but you're supposed to. Uh, uh, I don't know. You can't get your they, car and drive. You drive through only booze. <laughs> yeah, drive through booze. No, 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 there you, no, go. you don't drive, but it, it's uh, it, they, they, if they're in the bar, they have to have separation and things like that. And he says uh, they, there were bars that were open. I think it was that some bars were open and serving and letting crowds of people come in. And he said, if we find out who you are, and he mm. said, and he said we've had twenty five thousand complaints so far, so we know who you are. You have a good chance, if you don't do something about that, of losing your liquor license because the state gives you your liquor license. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a hurt. Okay. Uh, that's not being a Nazi. It's doing something I, to I benefit got, the public other, and their health. You know, you've got uh, uh, three people, I believe, that are running for mayor of New York. I don't know who they are. Well, uh, de Blasio is the Democrat. Well, I don't know who the Republican is. Uh, I, I think it, it, he's got an odd name like uh, Jafuzi or something. I, when is de Blasio's term come up? I think he's got two uh, more years. He's got two more no, years. No, no, no. It, it's coming up in a few months. No, it isn't. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. And, and the third guy is a libertarian who, who 17 years ago hijacked a plane with a gun and was, uh, was uh, uh, sentenced to a mental hospital. And Second Amendment right. Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah. Playing with a gun? Yeah. Well, you're what? complaining about that, but don't you? Don't you? Uh, if that is true, uh, let's well, see here. Uh, uh, 2021, Phil, you're wrong. 2021's next year. Okay. Yes, you said it's this year. <laughs> uh, so they're going to vote this year in 2021. Phil, they're, they're not gonna... even. They're not, they don't even have a nominee for the. Isn't it November? Next. Not next. this November. Next year. This is 2020. The yeah, rumor is November of 2020, and then they take office in 21. No, 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 that's a federal election. That's not a state. The election city. is in 2021. All right, so next year. Phil, why don't you just say a, I'm wrong? No, there's a guy that. Why don't applied. you say I'm wrong? I'm, I'm, so what? It's just one year. <laughs> what do you mean, so what? It's one year. You said he was next having his up for re election right now, and he's not. He already left. You know, if uh, you know, if uh, somebody invented the cure for cancer and said it's the cure for a good cancer, you would say no, 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 that's no good. You got to cure the bad cancer. Uh, you know, I, I don't understand you sometimes. Uh, all what's I know good, is what's you've good got cancer? three idiots that uh, that are that are running. I don't know what the Republican is, uh, and I don't know if he's an idiot. he's some sort of advocate. Uh, but then uh, De Blasio and this guy. That, well, was, that hijacked the plane and and 17 years ago at gunpoint and now he's running for mayor. Um, and what he, party? And against the Blasio. Um, what party? Got, what party? Libertarian. Oh, okay. Well, he's not a Democrat, so you can't blame that on the Democrats. No, no, no. The Blasio's running. 
No, you de Blasio again. Look, I don't lo- I don't love de Blasio. You don't have to put down de Blasio to me. I think he's, I'm just I think he's a piece a, you know, of, this piece is what crap. you in New York have to deal with. Well, no, no. I mean, I I don't think he's been handling this thing that well, you know. Well, he's done after this term though, Alex. So this is his second term. Yeah, no, think, he's not. No, he, yes, he's done two terms. That's it. Unless he's going to do a Bloomberg. That's that's it. Bloomberg, Bloomberg, runs. Bloomberg got an exception. How did he get that out? He got he the did. state. I think he got the state assembly, or the state senate, to give him an exception so he could run for a third term. But no, it's only two terms. I think the governorship is three terms. However, oh, it is three. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's only two in Kentucky. Yeah, and and this is the last term for for Mario. Count that high in Kentucky. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let me count. Them. Let me take my shoes off. Okay. I count, I count on my toes. Are you wearing shoes? Are you sure you're from Kentucky? Well, they're flip flops, you know. All you right. Know, what can yeah. I say? You know, Nike flip flops. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's uh, Nike just gave forty million dollars to Black Lives Matter. What's this? Who? Nike gave forty million dollars to Black Lives Matter. Good and, for them. And. Uh, uh, Adidas, or, or the other way around. Is this a bad Adidas. thing? Is this a bad thing, Phil? He gave twenty. Is this a bad thing? No, because if you find out where that money goes to, it's mm-hmm. actually going to the DNC, and it's mm-hmm. going to Democratic. Well, and candidate. where did you hear that? Yes. Of course, you know where I heard it. You heard it, what Newsmax or Fox or <laughs> Fox, yeah. uh, or and you don't and you don't call them fake news. I'm amazed. No. You don't no, call them fake news. news. They're, 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 they're routing out uh, all the BS that goes on. Oh, by and the way, let me, uh, let me, let me t- uh, take something up here for a second. Uh, uh, Kathleen wrote. Oh, yeah. She says, I love you, Alex, but fuck Zoom. I Where would love to be on your show, but not on Zoom. Well, let Zoom? me say this, Kathleen. What's she got to get Zoom? If, if you're listening. If you just try it, you would see how easier and better it is to use than Skype. Just tell her to call in and on and, Skype. You know, I don't know what, you know, what, what, what's the problem? It's not owned by Amazon. It's not owned by Microsoft. It's not owned by Apple. <laughs> you know, Skype is owned by Microsoft. It's if she not owned by Costco. Wanna, huh? If she doesn't want to call using Zoom, tell her to call using Skype. Yeah, but I won't be answering. <laughs> you know, I mean. <laughs> but it'll make her happy. I'll tell you a couple of things I like about Zoom and doing this. These people can hear each other when one is talking, another starts talking. They can mm-hmm. hear each yeah. other. It isn't like the audio mutes itself a little bit or tones itself down so that Phil, when he starts talking, doesn't know when somebody else wants to say something. Here we can have kind of that discussion that people have <clears throat> with each other like they're sitting around a, you know, a dinner table and, and arguing with each other. Like my grandpa and my grandfolks did. Oh, I'm doing Jack Bishop in his promo. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the problem with this is now I got no excuse for talking over you. Yeah, you, you have no use oh, for being yeah. rude. <laughs> the, the thing that bothers me, I'll tell you something. I And, and, and de Blasio mentioned this yesterday when I, I came home after getting my arm trashed, okay, um, getting a, a P, 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 PS, uh, PSA test. And um, I came back, and I was out walking. I walked around seven blocks to the clinic and then seven blocks back to, from, to the lab. And uh, as I went, I saw people without masks. And when I saw them, I was really pissed off. <laughs> because my attitude was, you you know, here I am, 80 years old. I'm in that, that category of people who have God's finger pointed at my head saying, take care of yourself. This thing could get you. This thing could kill you. Uh, and they're not wearing masks. They're, they have no respect for me. Okay? And uh, then I went home, and Cuomo said the same thing. He said... He says, I talk to people who get very mad at people who aren't wearing masks because they feel that they're not respecting them. And that's exactly how I felt. You know? I go into people's homes. I'm wearing a mask. Yeah. People come into my store. I'm wearing a mask. If they come into my store, they wear a mask. But if I go into their home, they, 
I would say nine out of ten weren't aren't wearing masks. I'll tell Some, you, the, the super the super came up over yesterday because we got a leak in our washer, and came over yesterday, and uh, he was wearing a mask, and we had our masks on, you know, because you know, and he he's probably just safe and fine, and there's no problem or whatever. But we just do it out of respect for each other. How'd you know yeah. he was really your super? Could you see his face? Yes, I could. I could. <laughs> Uh, Trump's thingy today, none of them had masks on. What? They had the big social thing outside. Trump's thing? Mm -hmm. They had the big social thing outside, nobody wearing masks at all. Nobody. You know, like there weren't people at the White House who had coronavirus. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then, then you've got the, the, uh, our, our, our super-in-chief or whatever his title is, uh, our commander-in-chief. Well, that's funny to say. Um, uh, the commander-in-chief, um, not doing the mask and saying, well, you know, I, I took my hydro, uh, cor whatever, hydroxy, yeah. Hydro hydroxy chloroquine. Well, chloroquine. Did you, did you see what the world health organization did about that? Saying they banned it from use. Off of the emergency use only like our they're, stuff is right now. They're mad because he cut off their money because they're oh. a, sc a scam organization. So, no, no, actually, China. actually, Phil, there are there's every reason to believe that Trump has money invested in hydrochloroquine. Mm. He took two weeks worth of it. Yes, as an ad for hydrochloroquine. He says he doesn't he know if it made a difference. He said. Yeah, he said it, he didn't know if it made a difference. Uh, he said he took it. Though, he said he took it. I don't think he took it. Well, when it takes him two two hands to to drink and <laughs> water, <laughs> it looks like he's on the edge ready. He could be in that category of not be shunt, not. Yeah, that was a uh, that was. Uh, let's get was to that. Pez? Let's get to that for a second. Uh, we have a president here who, over the weekend, went to West Point to speak before the graduating class, mm -hmm. in spite of the fact that they didn't want to come back to do it because they didn't want to take their life in their hands. But they did it, and they had to be quarantined at West Point for two weeks. Before the uh, before the graduation, and a handful of them actually came down with COVID. Okay, <laughs> so anyway, he goes and gives his speech anyway because he's got to give his speech at West Point rather than care and have respect for these graduating soldiers. To not, you know, they could have done it virtually. They could have done it in any number of ways that were safe. No, he wanted them all there so they could be there with him so he could have his big day giving a speech from a teleprompter where he couldn't even pronounce the words. And as he's leaving the podium, they lead him down the ramp off of the stage. And I don't know if you saw what I saw, but I saw somebody who was having a hard time walking down those that ramp. He didn't want to fall. You know the photo It was slippery. He claimed it was slippery. It was slippery. You know, how is it how is it slippery, Phil? What do you mean how is it slippery? Did he, it's, it's I think ramp. it was I think it was a, a, a sunny day. Yeah. It's a <laughs> ramp. It's at an angle when when you're over a certain a very angle, shallow angle. You're not as stable as you are when you're a young whipper. Well, that's what we're saying and that's exactly <laughs> what it looked like. He's an old fart. He's 74 over the weekend. I could walk that's down that years, ramp. That's two years younger than me, Phil, and I could have walked down that ramp. Oh, you're a tough guy. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, he, uh, did you see, but if you fell, did you see him drink water, Phil? I'm, I'm yeah. making America great either. again by building houses for people who can't afford houses. Mostly. Here, let me, let me just I, – let me, I need some coffee right now. Uh Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do it the same way. Oh, do you really? Yeah. yeah. He does it with bottles of water. He, he, you know. Yeah. Well, if he dropped it, people, you know, he, they would be no end to the pictures. He's just no, not uh, you guys. A photo yeah, but, but, it's, but, but he doesn't look to the bottom of his shoe to see if there's some toilet paper on the bottom of him when he's walking up the <laughs> ramp to Air Force <laughs> One. Matter, and he doesn't want to be made a fool of. Oh, you know, the man, the man is so vain. Stuff. Jeff, you haven't said anything tonight. Say something. Say something. I'll say something. Well, first of all, my system is working now. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. Yeah. The other thing is, I wish Trump would leave. That's all. Hey, 
uh, you know the statues that they're trying to tear down, Jeff? <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, because they're Civil War statues or the slavery yes. or Columbus. And, yeah. you know, and of course, even they try to, the Indians have been taken down the statue of some Spanish guy. No, that, uh, no, the, the, it's Mexicans because he, he slaughtered Mexicans. Oh, well, anyway. I think uh, that's a good reason University. to tear it down, don't you, Phil? Yeah, Yale University. Oh, uh, here you go uh, again. Was originally University of Connecticut or some, something like that, a mm -hmm. Commonwealth. Uh, then uh, this guy who owned the East India Trading Company, his name was Yale, mm -hmm. donated a whole bunch of money to the university, and they named it after him. But he was a slave trader. So are they going to change the name of Yale University? Well, they just might. They might. They just might, Phil. <clears throat> you know, I mean, oh, you know, here's instead. what's happened, Phil. We've had a society for the last 300 years that's been white-dominated. And even in the last hundred years, all the history and all of that has been a white history. And we don't pay, didn't pay attention to any of those things. And now we're being made to pay attention to them. You and know, and uh, uh, wait a minute, let me finish, Phil. Uh, and, I, you know, f when, when I went to school, I was taught white history. You know, but I, I can only imagine what it's like to be an Indian child going to school American, uh, yeah. a Native American going to school and having the teacher say, as they did in my class, yeah. who was the first person to discover America? Christopher and for, Columbus. And for him, to, yeah, Christopher Columbus. And for him, Leif Erickson, for him yeah. to say to himself, or Leif Erickson, both white, yeah. this kid to say to himself, well, how could they discover a place where there were already people there? Yeah. Didn't teach you know, but no, we were we on the test. It says who discovered America, and if you didn't put down Christopher Columbus, or if you put down Leif Erikson, they might say nice thinking, kid. Oh. But if you didn't give them that answer, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, you can't possibly discover a place that already has people in it. So you if you're that? an yeah. astronaut and you go and discover a unknown planet, and that planet happens to have some people on it. That doesn't mean you didn't discover it? No, you didn't discover it. You found it. You found it, but you didn't discover it. You found it. Here's what they're doing. Here's what they're doing to the to the statues now. Oh my god. What is that? Put it closer. One of those it's one of those things they blow air through and you go in and get your oil. Oh, it's one of Yeah. That's a Photoshop, but it's a great idea though. Yeah. 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 My friend sent me a picture. It said Trump needs to wear a mask, he was told. And this is a picture of Trump uh, wearing wearing a mask. So can you see can you see he's wearing <laughs> Yeah. Oh there yeah. look at her. Oh, that's a cool mask. Who made that? Mm -hmm. Can you buy those? Can you imagine Halloween? Uh, you, her mask. Did you uh, can you buy those? Oh, don't don't take off your mask. Your daddy might have the coronavirus. He's been doing tests. Yeah, yeah. He probably is. God, she, she she's a, don't here. don't tell her this because she'll I'll spoil her. She's adorable. <laughs> she so, is absolutely adorable. Yeah, absolutely. If I could have a kid like that, no. I would have had them. Okay, you know. <laughs> what's her What's her name? Oh, I can't hear you. Oh, Adrian. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Oh, she's back. Here. Hi, Adrian. How are you? Uh, Yo, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh, she's shy. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay, bye. It's okay. Bye, you bye. leave Brian. Leave her behind. You know. You, <laughs> you yeah. Know, okay. They, they removed the Rocky statue in Philadelphia oh, a few months ago. Don't you, say that. No, they did. They 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 moved it. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, they moved it. Do you don't think that they knew that these things were going to happen? No, because I don't think they'd have anything to say about Rocky, but I think that the, the, the feeling was that it was, uh, uh, it, it was not a really the kind of statue you put up. They, I think they took it and put it in a museum somewhere. Yeah. Um, you know, where a lot of these statues should go. I mean, you, Jefferson Davis, you want to have a statue of him? Great. Put it in a museum. Yeah. They're taking down the statue yeah. of Jefferson Davis in our state capitol. 
Really? Yep. Well, see. Are they going to put it in a museum? I don't know where they're going to put it, and I don't really care. Yeah. The man, the man was a traitor. Well, uh, I think uh, Charlie told us the other day, you're right, he was a traitor. Uh, Charlie told us the other day that most of these statues were put up in the 20th century. You know, they weren't put yeah. up mm -hmm. right after right after the Civil War. They're in Jim Crow. Yeah. Are, are Crow. the people that took over the six blocks of Seattle, are they traitors? No. And are no. they... No, uh, you know, why are, why are they traitors? The why, how are they traitors? Because they uh, uh, subvert, subverted oh, that area by... Uh, they went in there and they they live in the forced, area phil they, no they don't they forced yes, they the do. police out of there they took over the building they walled off the area there's some warlord guy that says he's the head of the thing and they're not letting people in or out uh especially police uh in, in that area now that means that the people that ha are merchants that live there uh their area has been taken over and they say it's a new nation they said it's a new nation. So the indigenous autonomous zone. Yeah, it's an autonomous the, 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 zone. The, it's an the, autonomous the, zone, Phil, not a new nation. No, they said it's a nation. No, now. it's they a new. It's a it, it, no, only it's, on Newsmax do they say that, Phil. But no, I saw the sign. They changed it to Chop. And Chop. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, uh, it, it's uh, uh, Capitol what? Hill autonomous autonomous zone. zone. Yeah. And then uh, the mayor, who's doing nothing. Uh, she negotiated for them to go from six or seven blocks down to three. What, but, she, what should she do? Send in the tanks, Phil? Uh, no, fire hoses. I mean, that, that's what the, that's what Trump would do. Yeah. Trump's letting them step in their own pee pee. But I think know? she's a Democrat, so she's not like all the Republican governors who go, "What would Trump do?" Yeah. You know. Didn't well, he the Republican already? governors don't have these problems in Nashville. When they said that they were going to take over and do the same thing, uh, the Republican governor said, that ain't going to happen, and it hasn't. Right? Tennessee. That's, that's uh, got a Republican governor. What hmm. about the Republican governor in Georgia? Did that, he think that that was a bad thing, that Rayshard Brooks got shot in the back twice? Well, we know that the guy he was He hasn't said uh, shit, fired. Bill. Huh? He hasn't said shit. Yes, he has. Governor of the governor of Georgia has not said. I don't. I don't think so because they've given this guy some due process, which is something that the Democrats never give anybody but themselves. Oh, I know because they're communists, right? Yes. <laughs> in and, your opinion, in yeah, your and, opinion, and don't and don't respect the Constitution. Oh, but, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Time well, out! They, they Who doesn't down. respect the Constitution? It's yeah. called your buddy Trump. Yeah. Well, what what did Wendy's do? To deserve to get burned down. They've got oh, insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you oh, tasted God, their insurance. hamburgers? So it raises my insurance because a bunch no, it of it a, a bunch of Not people you go to burn Wendy's. down. They're mad. Hey, Not if I was mad, I can I can go burn stuff down, huh? Mm. That's good enough. You the know, guy, I'm the cop was him. mad. The cop was mad because the guy took his taser. You were a was police or in the police. I, the cop got fired, and the cop's probably going to get prosecuted. Oh, they said that there is, there's camp, there's the body cam that you hear him make a comment when he grabbed his taser, and then when he shot him, and it sounds I'm like about oh shit, he's got my taser. But so I heard, I what heard about the, the body cam? But Phil, Phil, you know, Phil, you know, being in the police and us from civilians seeing it on TV in movies when cops get something like a car taken, stolen from them. Or their gun or badge or whatever taken it's from them, as a as a taser would, those cops would be teased on end. Well, it, it, it and when that cop got mad, them. he got even. You don't kill somebody over them stealing your taser, and the guy missed. He was also patted down. This guy's going to go to jail. He no was also drunk, Phil. No, no different. I, that doesn't matter. It's the cop. and they had. They knew he was. He was. They had. They knew who he was and everything. Phil is really bad, man. You can't no, shoot, the, you the can't cop, shoot two times in the back for taking the taser. Ryan, the cop was wrong. Yeah. The cop is going to get prosecuted if and he doesn't. They don't have a culture. First or go to Mexico. He's well, going to jail. And yet okay. we don't have a racial we don't have a racial uh, structure in this country. I don't think right? it was a race thing. The, the, the guy fought him. We don't have a bad culture. Then let's 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 put it in terms of police culture. 
Now, we, we as a society have to take some, some uh, uh, responsibility for the fact that we have put all this responsibility on police to handle things that they were never intended to handle. Okay? Well, homelessness. Trump, homelessness. Trump is saying that he's going to send uh, a social workers as a second line of defense to possibly to respond with police. When's to, he going to fund it? He says he'll, he'll fund it no matter what it costs. Oh, bullshit. That's exactly what yeah, he said. Yeah, come back well, in, uh, well come I'd, back say, in I'd say a come back yeah. in a year and tell us what he did, but unfortunately, I don't think he's going to have a chance to do it. Nah, he'll yeah. have a chance. Four more years. No. Nope. <laughs> Not at the rate no. he's going. Not by the polls nope. that everybody's seen. And there, there, I saw one poll that had a lead. Biden had a lead by about eight points. Yeah. I don't now, look at national And polls. it was Biden. a right-wing poll. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't look at national polls. Trump doesn't poll well, but Biden it reminds me of what you were describing before in your uh, monologue. Uh, Biden is the new Sinatra. You know, he doesn't know where he is. Uh, he's just up on stage because he needs the money. How about you know? Trump? <laughs> huh? no, no, By the way, just... Biden Biden isn't adulpated. I've got to tell you, I watch him and I'm I'm amazed at how sharp he is actually for a guy his age because I'm not that sharp. Okay, he's not sharp at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I tell you, I, w I watch his things, and, yeah, and because you you, know, you watch it through a skewed eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Yeah. For, uh, the, I see him for what yeah. he really is. And you don't see the same thing in Trump. No, you don't no. see an adult person. You no. don't see somebody see having to take two hands to drink water. I see someone that's very sharp, and you know, if I was up in front of a thousand people, I think I'd use two hands too. Because the last thing I'd want to do is drop the damn thing, and I. He did one of the times the when he did this thing with a cup. It was at a table at a meeting. Well, it that's had nothing the way he nothing drinks. to do with the public showing or that's whatever. That's the way he drinks. What can I tell you? He's from Queens. Really? Okay. Well, Tony I'm probably gonna, does the same uh, thing. Uh, oh, I'm from heard, Queens. Yeah. I heard he did drink this. All. One glass. Oh, that's because you're from one hand. Connecticut. You didn't hear a stroke, maybe? He Watch this. Him. I can use my right hand and my left hand. Yeah. yeah. Somebody here, American Patriots, said Rubio drank water the same way. And you remember what he said about Rubio drinking water at one of his rallies. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Well, maybe he's in imitating Rubio because imitation is the uh, best uh, form of flattery. You know, there are a lot of Republican uh, uh, senators starting to turn on uh, Trump, and there are a lot. Of course, the military has been turning on him terribly. Uh, uh, you know, how many people more are going to have to turn against Trump before you say, you know something, they're kind of right? Uh, the only person that would Never have happened. to turn against him for me, to, for me not to support him would be me, and I'm not turning against. I think a couple Never of more, happened. a couple more weeks of these hormones, and I think you're going to be our bitch. Okay. <laughs> That's it. You know, you're going to start crying like a baby when I say Trump sucks. You go, no, he doesn't. He's good. He's good. I, 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 I've got my first side effect. What? Uh, I'm peeing about 15 times a day. Yeah. Well, that's that's the uh, radiation. Yeah. You had that problem, right, Vernon? Nope. D no. You had no peeing problems at all from the radiation? Nope. Hmm. Oh. Ah. <laughs> because I, uh, I, I had a slight peeing problem from the radiation, but not as much as when they put in the, the seeds, okay? Yeah. Then, to this day, I'm still dealing with it. It's getting better and better every day, but, you know. Oh, uh, I asked them today what In kind case of people don't know, Vernon and I both, and Phil... Gee, half this panel has has had prostate cancer. Yeah, uh, you know, it's something about this show. You know, <laughs> it's contagious. One of the most uh, uh, treatable it's of, in the of water. cancers. Yeah, one of the most treatable of cancers. Uh, Vernon had it. What? How many years ago, Vernon? Eight. Eight years ago, and he's fine. Uh, my doctor says I'm going to die of something else. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Phil, cabinetitis. Yeah, Phil's the only one with, I think, a serious case. Uh, I'm not. I don't know. It just some stuff came back, and uh, so they're treating it. But uh, the um, the machine I'm on is called a linear accelerator, 
Now, I saw a linear accelerator in Palo Alto. No, no, it's not the same kind of linear ago. accelerator. That was a mile-long building. It's the longest building in the, in the world. Up 280. Yeah, up 280. Yeah, yeah. I, think I think the thing about the radiation that I did, which was the five days <clears throat> cyber yeah. knife type thing, it's not, this wasn't the cyber knife. Because cyber knife is a brand name. It, it's called stereotatic. And my doctor feels their version of it at Mount Sinai is better than the cyber knife. The, and Kaiser it, it, giving me the Ginsu knife. Yeah, the Ginsu <laughs> cyber knife. Uh, they, um, um, you know, this it, it's worked pretty good for people. It's worked pretty good for people. And uh, uh, they said, you know, but what happened was, what I was going to say is, I did five of these treatments, and I'm finished with them, and I'm going, what did they do to me? They just, I lay, laid there, and this thing was, meep, 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 and then I leave, right. you know? Yeah. Did you yeah, have to drink water every day, Vernon? Did I have to? Yeah. Yeah, when they gave you the so radiation. When they gave you the radiation. Because you they, made me, they made me drink five glasses of water. That was the hardest part. No, the, the treatment that I had, they, uh, they had this little balloon that they would put up your rectum and, and expand it. Oh, okay. So, what that, so, that the, radi so the radiation well, okay. wouldn't have a negative impact. What they're doing now is they have this thing called a spacer. And they put it in there, and it's a gel, and it separates the rectum from the prostate, so the rectum won't get radiated. Excuse me, folks, we're just having a little can having a little cancer discussion here. Uh, yeah. And then after about three months, it just dissolves and goes out with your pee, you know. So they've that that's kind of been the improvement they've come up with now. But Kaiser, they use a paper clip. Yeah, the yeah. Kaiser, yeah. Doctor assisted suicide. That's what Kaiser uh, is. Now this morning I failed the uh, the water test. Uh, I get on the thing. I'm all ready. I drank my 32 ounces on the drive down, but I drank it sort of a little bit later than I normally do. Mm -hmm. And they said, "Well, you must have been dehydrated." So they get me on. They do the CT thing, and they said, "You don't have enough water in your bladder." So get off the table. We're going to put somebody else on the table. You go into this room, here's some more water, drink it. So they gave me another 32 ounces. So this morning I had 64 ounces of water. And Okay, uh, well, this, this is interesting. Yeah, well, it's... It's, well, uh, it's gotten down to a discussion, ladies and gentlemen, on this program yeah. of, of how much water I drank today. Yeah. I'm having more fun watching Tony get the fly in this room. Yeah, I got a fly in there. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him with my right. Yeah. Sorry, it's Phil. Jumping. More exciting over there. Somehow, this the Zoom is just more fun. I don't know why. You know, easier. The wind is open in the bedroom. Oh, <laughs> the windows open. The windows. Open the cadaver will attract now, flies. Now, folks, while you're here, take a look at that wallpaper in Tony's house. <laughs> it's not as clear as it usually. If, is. if I had to, if I had to recreate it's the horrible. Psycho House in a movie, <laughs> I would just shoot it right there. I gotta, I gotta hey, Tony, your, your fly left, and he's over at my house now. I hit him, but I don't know where he is. <coughs> By the way, our mouse has been Oh, it's your fly. We have a mouse, oh. or, or mice, I don't <laughs> know. And they, they uh, found this thing where Marjorie keeps her chip bag of chips. Oh, okay. no. Oh. And they just put a little hole in it, you know. Yeah. And yeah. then she looked at, and there was like, Mouse shit everywhere. Uh -huh. yeah. Can't you borrow your friend's cat again? So he, uh, no, the cat. This cat would just sit there and go. Really? Just one. You know, um, I you know I just I, I it, it, it the, so there's all this this these this crap down there. So now we're leaving the 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 decon mouse proof pellets there, and we've got a, a mouse trap in there. And this morning <laughs> she goes in there, and they're more. Mouse turds. Now they're no more. She, they, they aren't. There's nothing in there for them to get to. Okay, I don't know why they're going in there still. Alex, what? You're killing the poor little mouse. Well, yeah. listen, it's it's the, the only mouse. thing in our house that comes close to being a pet. Okay, yeah. so you know, um, they just like you. That's all. They're just they like, like me. With you. Yeah, yeah. They like they they like me. Uh, but maybe it's the coffee. It could be. But, but, you know, there's very little for them to get otherwise, you know. But they like to go for crackers and chips and things like that. So we put them in Tupperware. 
Mm-hmm. But I know if you got Tupperware, that would be supporting Betty DeVos. And if you supported Betty DeVos, you wouldn't be well, happy. Well, we, we do have stuff we could put it in. But this is big bags of stuff that she buys. She bought six bags of this. She you know how you so get much. six bags of chips into a small bag thing of Tupperware? We Just break it. them first. We'll crunch them, yeah. Turn them yeah. to uh, chip meal. Uh, but no, so you know the mouse uh, loves this stuff and is uh, is uh, um, eating it up like crazy. Uh, mm. I, I don't understand it, to be honest with you. But anyway, I don't know if it's one mouse or whether it's several mice. But um, we, we're we're hoping that they eat some of these decon things. And uh, there's another place they leave, leave some poop up on a up on a counter, up on a little table oh, that we have by the uh, by the well. st- oven. And so I, I put one of those decon things there, and uh, hopefully they will they will nibble at them. Have you seen these mice? No, I've so seen. I saw the, a, it could no. be a rat. Uh, no, no, no. I saw a mouse in the house. Yeah, you louse. Yeah. Don't grouse about the mouse. Uh, no, I saw a mouse in our bedroom. He ran <laughs> ran out. That mm-hmm. happened twice. And then we found him, or we found a mouse dead in one of the traps we had. And well, then maybe, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen a mouse since then. But, but we have. Know. They do leave their turds behind. So you know. You know what happens when you uh, give a mouse a cookie, though, right? Yeah, and then it wants a napkin. And no, then it wants a milk. glass glass of milk. Yeah. Yeah. A glass of milk. Okay. <laughs> I had to read that stuff to my kids. Uh, they were little. Yeah, but it's 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 uh, you know. So that's our. That's our latest uh, adventure is with the with the mice or mouse. I don't know. Oh, so, uh, talk, somebody mentioned. But coffee. they're not are rats. They're, they're not rats. Are you? Yeah. Uh, um, are you still drinking that uh, strong coffee that you mm-hmm. buy? Yeah, in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. S- still strong and not. Uh, well, it doesn't. Nothing wakes me up. But it's called wake the hell up. Yeah, it's the name of the coffee, and it's got uh, it's got uh, it, it's got a thing uh, called Jamaican me crazy, which yeah. is spice, certain spices that are put into the coffee, and it ha- has a really nice taste, really nice <laughs> taste. You know, and I really I really love it. I enjoy it. I have a good time with it. So, um, mm. but it doesn't wake me up. I'm I got to stop taking my uh, neuropathy pills because they knock me out and then they make me loopy all day, and then I can't do things physically right and you know yeah. but so i am going to take the xanax tonight and that's the nasty pill i get nasty all day and girlfriend doesn't like it so take a half She's, have you taken your nasty pill today huh you taking your nasty pill i go no yes. i took the nice pill i'm being nasty because you're being well anyway so it's made it's, living on four, it's almost four months. We have not left this apartment with each other. You know, she goes out and walks with her girlfriend every day. Okay, but outside of that, but I'm still here. You know, and by the time she gets back, yeah. Well, anyway. you made the seven block walk today. You said y- yesterday. yesterday. Well, fourteen block to be count both ways. Yeah. You know. But the only, other, the only problem is it, it is a little harder with the mask because you breathe a little heavier. It's harder to breathe. But anyway, hey, there's our theme song. You know something? This Zoom, Kathleen, you really got to try it. You know, you got to come on the show using the Zoom. It's so easy. You just click on that thing and it says, you know, brings you right here. Uh, and it, it's so much better because when I talk, and somebody else wants to talk, they can talk over me and they still hear me talking. And so it becomes more of a conversation in the group. I think it's easier. For, don't you all feel it's easier for yeah, each of you? Really, I think it's wonderful. Can, can you yeah. bring in Skype on a different channel and no, plug it into no, one of the squares? No way. No, no way. Oh, well, we actually, no, we I could miss you, no. Kathleen. I can't, but we, they, we miss you and we would like you to call. Okay. Anyway, hey, listen, that's it. Uh, that's our show for tonight. Thank you very much. Vernon, great hearing from you. Uh, and uh, thank you, uh, 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 t- uh, Tony. And thank you, Charlie Wallace. And thanks to Phil Meyer. And thanks to Jeff Stein. And thanks to Brian Neary. And if you'll give them all a big wave goodbye, I'll give you a wave goodbye back at you. Okay? That's our citizen panel for tonight, folks. Let me hang up on them here. Okay, end meeting for all. They're gone. 
But uh, you stick around because Jack Bishop is next over most of this same gabnet to do his little program called The Intersection. Uh, it's live next. You can call him just like you call this show, except not using Zoom, using Skype instead. In the meantime, I'll be back again tomorrow night, uh... 10.30, Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Be safe. Wear a mask, damn it.